Do you guys see those two tall ladders back there? That means we are getting prepared for the shiplap on the ceiling, but there's some things you have to do before you can just start hanging it. We're gonna figure out what the center of the room is, and then that way we can see how big it ends up on each side to see if we need to adjust before we even start. And we're going to test what it's like working with these a little bit, because it is our first time. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get to it today or tomorrow, but shiplap ceiling is coming what soon. What we did is, you want to find the measurement out with the gap. So that is seven and a half. And then we measured from both sides of the room, which was 163. So if the entire room is 163 and each piece is seven and a half, we figured 21 pieces. And then the last piece ends up being six inches. So that's enough where it's not just a little teeny piece and it will look all right. Plus it's, above the door and your eyes are directed this way. So we'd like to start with a full one and end with a six inch piece. And I think we're ready to get started. Our favorite part about this shiplap, besides the amount of time we're gonna save from cutting it and painting it, is the fact that it's already sticky on the back. And you use this little J roller, you press it flat once you hang it, and it'll press that glue flat. We thought we were going to need an extra adhesive. After seeing how sticky it is, we will definitely not be using anything extra except for a couple brad nails since we will be on the ceiling. One last thing Trey thought of was to pre-trace. And thank gosh we did because we need to start in this corner. It's actually a little bit deeper. The wall sits. If we would have just laid them directly out, you can see we would have had an inch gap on the back. So now we know to start in the left corner and then we might have to shave just a little off the back side on the right here, but that'll allow us to have a nice level line. All right, first piece going on. Secure as could be. And you have to probably get out with some pressure since we're upside down. Make sure you cover every square foot. So it definitely flattens that out. And we're going to throw a few brad nails in it. Brad nails. You grab on the back here. Yeah, just a couple of those in each one.
We are about one third of the way through the room. I'd say it's not quite as hard as we are expecting, so that's always good news. We have officially hit the halfway point. We just did the math to make sure we were gonna have enough, but very impressed with how easy this actually is to apply to the ceiling. And it's holding great. We did not have to use brad nails like we thought we were going to. Overall, we are very happy with how easy it's been so far and how it's turning out and cannot wait to see it finished. We are now past the halfway point and we definitely have a technique. We did a three row pattern. So the first row, we did a full piece on the left and then ran it out. The second row, we did a 29 inch piece on the left and then ran it out. And then the third row, we did a full piece on the right and then ran it out. And we have repeated that over and over and over. We came up with that math so it was minimal waste. And so far, so good. Okay, so we got to the end of our third pattern, which requires a small piece. So I got a measurement for the back is 16 and 3 fourths minus 2. This is 16 and a half plus 1. So we'll just go with the smaller 16 and a half plus a line. We got our little cut station in here. So we're going to find one that's going to work. And what I do to be sure is actually picture it up on the ceiling. It's going to be like this. This is a cut edge. Won't work. So we'll start with a new piece. And it's going to be on the ceiling like this. I need this to be the factory edge. So I keep my hand on the good edge I need. And I measure from there. So now I've got it. 16 and a half plus a line. I got my mark. I'm gonna make a straight line. I line this all up. Now you're ready to put it in place. You peel this after you make the cut. A little sawdust gets in the corner there. And what we do is at an angle, so you're in spot here. What we have left, you're looking at 22 and a fourth. And what's left here is 21 and three fourths, so a little less than three. So we should have enough left there. with a few. 10, 11, or 12. That makes about 12. 11 in a box, and we need about 11 more, so nice. we have a few to spare. Awesome. Down to the last few rows. Last piece is going up next. on the back made this job way easier we like to do a little lean make sure it's in spot and then press it into place and then you'll use your J roller to go over top and that is a full ceiling ship left in one day Wow, I'm so happy.